Today we're going to fix this really annoying shadow problem in Unreal Engine. I've gathered together all of the best solutions as well as one that fixes it in a single click. Basically this problem happens because these are all nanite meshes which means it's using Unreal's virtualized polygon technology but it doesn't play well with ray tracing and path tracing. The shadows are being cast by a fallback mesh which is the low poly version of the mesh. If I switch to path tracing, okay the shadow problem is gone but now all we can see is the fallback mesh. You wouldn't want to use this in a cinematic. So solution number one is a console command which will pretty much clear this up. The command is r.raytracing.nanite.mode1. And yes, the shadow problem is fixed in ray tracing. So if we switch to path tracing, you can see we're using the full quality meshes, not the fallback meshes. It works. Job done. But unfortunately, this is a console command, which means that every time you launch your project, you're going to have to enter this. I've got some more permanent solutions coming up in the video. Let's move on to solution number two, which is another console command r.raytracing.normalbias. This will be zero by default, but we're going to set it to five. And our shadow problem has cleared up again, which is good. It's worth noting that normal bias shifts the shadows from their original position, so this result is just not accurate. However, if we switch to path tracer, we're back to the fullback mesh, unfortunately, so we've got our jack edges back. Let's move on to solution number three. We're going to edit the nanite mesh. So we're in the static mesh viewer and we're just going to go to the nanite settings on the right hand side. In fullback target, if you just change that to relative error and then change the relative error from one to zero, that should clear up most meshes. Now you can still see some shadow on here, which is not what we want. So let's just change the position precision down to some fraction. Let's try 1 64th of a centimeter. If you've got a beefy GPU, this process might be quicker, but for me, every time I make a change, Unreal is quite slow. Yeah, that's done it. So that's cleared up the shadow here. Let's go look at our scene. This result looks very similar to the ray tracing nanite mode console command, but this one just happens to be permanent. A hey, bonus tip, the eagle-eyed among you may have noticed that I haven't solved all the problems with my meshes right here. These foreground mega scans look fine, but this rocky outcrop in the middle distance has got dark triangles all over it. I've just jumped into the static mesh viewer so you can get a better look at this and it's much more apparent here what's going on. You can see those dark triangles. So to fix it, go to your console and type in this command r.raytracing.shadows.enable two-sided geometry and just set that to zero and watch all of those triangles disappear. Let's check this out in the scene. Yep, there it is. It's completely fixed. It's been bugging me for so long. I just had to tell you guys. So let's take a look at solution number four. So my friend Sam Eisenhower from Boundless Entertainment has developed two plugins that solve this problem with a single click. One's called Path Tracer Pro and the other is called Lightforge. Why two plugins though? Well, the answer will become clear in just a moment. I've already added it to my engine, so I just need to go to plugins and search for Path Tracer Pro, enable that, and Lightforge. So I've restarted the engine and Path Tracer Pro has added its logo to the viewport right here. Now, by clicking it, what it would do is ask me if I want to optimize the scene for ray tracing and path tracing. We're going to do that in just a moment. Now we've already gone into one of our meshes and changed the fallback error to zero. Path Tracer Pro would go through every single mesh in your scene and do that. To do that normally, this is what you have to do. So I'm just going to select my Mega Scans folder because my Mega Scans are the only nanite meshes in my scene. Filter that by Static Mesh. I'm going to select all of those. Then I'm going to right click and select Asset Actions, Edit Selection and Property Matrix. And there's a list of all of the Mega Scans in my scene. So we can select all of those and then go over to the right hand side where there is nanite settings, which will look familiar by this point. In here, we've got the relative error and we're going to set that to zero and we'll let Unreal do that. And it's done. Of course, the shadows are cleaned up, but we do still need to save. Right. OK, let's see how different it is doing it with Path Tracer Pro. Click on the logo and optimize all 75 nanite meshes for ray tracing and path tracing. Yes. It's preparing static meshes. Give it a second. And that's done. Of course, the shadow problem is gone, but it took so much less time. It saves us a ton of clicks and a ton of waiting around. But what about the other one? Lightforge. So if I go to my window and open Lightforge, it opens its own UI. Now this is 
a separate plugin to Path Tracer Pro, but it comes with a lot more features. It still has that ability to remove the shadow problem, which is good, but you also have the ability to enable or disable path tracing in your project from one checkbox. You can also select your post process volume and it will show you all of your path tracer and lumen settings at a glance which kind of saves you from searching through the details panel. Even more so, it's got the ability to optimize Lumen and Path Tracer from a single button. I quite like to dial mine in very specifically, but this I think gives me a nice starting point for good quality Lumen settings. Oh, and Nanite Mode and Two-Sided Geometry Console commands can be activated through Lightforge and they will stay active even if you've closed your project. So that's a pretty cool tool that will save a little bit of time and maybe a little bit of brain power as well, which is always good. Now I spoke to Sam about these plugins and he says because Path Tracer Pro is the older of the two, he's now going to be giving that away for free. I've linked to both in the description box below. So if you just want to try out Path Tracer Pro and the ability to optimize Nanite meshes, you can get that now for nothing. But Lightforge with all those extra features can also be gotten with the code Joshua M. Kerr for 20% off. And Sam's given me some good news for those who already own Path Tracer Pro. If that's one of you, then you are getting a free upgrade to Lightforge. Now, if you want to see the cinematic that I created in this project, I'm linking it right here. So you can head over and I'll see you there.